Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at ISC 2017 in Frankfurt, and I'm here with Pradeep from Intel. Pradeep, let's start at the beginning. Well, what is Intel doing in the area of helping people use AI or develop AI? So Intel's uh, goal is to make it easier for more and more people to use AI. AI, as you know, is all about decision making, right? It's the big bet that machines which so far have been crunching numbers will now make decisions on your behalf. Yeah, yeah. Now, the big thing to realize is that people who are in need of that help are not the ones who are your traditional HPC programmers or HPC developers. These are people who are primarily data scientists or they're experts in some domain, but not necessarily computer science or computer systems. So that's our primary goal. How do we make it easier for them to be able to use high-performance computing without knowing that they're using high-performance computing and make better decisions, live happier life, make us all happier? Okay, okay. So, you know, Intel, of course, is known for their silicon. What are products do you have for this space? So, um, yes, we are uh, first a silicon company, but yeah. silicon not just as in processor. This thing requires processing, memory, fabric, at, at scale, mm -hmm. and which means you also need a software stack to go with it, right, so that people can actually, again, without knowing the complexity of hardware, can benefit from that hardware. Plus, you need to work with the programming tools of tomorrow, which are very scripting-like, right, the MATLAB-like tools, right, the new frameworks, new emerging frameworks for decision-making, and ultimately solve real problems, right? So we are working with the experts who are looking at real problems in the space of uh, health, transportation, and all, and making it easier through, by enabling them through a nice framework, and then get most of our, out of our hardware. So both performance and productivity, yeah. and being able to reach a much wider class of users is our goal. Yeah. I was going to ask you, how this must be hard to do at scale. Is that one of the tougher problems you're trying to take on? Your, your yes. Uh, so first of all, this is, uh, most people don't realize, this is more about compute than anything we have known so far, mm. right? So, uh, uh, so this probably, uh, such complex decision making probably starts after exascale and who knows how far it goes, right? So therefore, we have to put to bear all the compute that we can. Get, uh, we can. And hence, we have to reach scale, because otherwise it's not possible, right? No one compute, no single compute, any place, anyone's, uh, uh, any one location or anyone's pocket is going to suffice. So you have to pull together all compute we can, primarily because data is everywhere, compute must be everywhere, because you can't be shipping data, right? It's expensive. So that's why it's a hard problem, okay? And, and it, it needs the help of what HPC has done for so many years, and even more, because it, the, remember, we need all this performance without asking people to be a ninja programmer. So you need the productivity of someone who has never had computer science. He needs to be productive, he or she. At the same time, they're seeking performance that even the most ninja guys never had. They need more than that. 